Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Dan and Carol Lohler. Hi, glad to have you here again today. We had a question that came to us uh, through email a while ago and it reads this. Can a relationship be healthy if the partners have completely different interests and activities? Interesting question, good question. Mm -hmm. My belief is that in order to have the relationship, even to come together, there were some kind of common interests and activities. Mm -hmm. You must have gone to the same place or there was something <laughs> there that brought you together initially. And that's where the love starts to, to happen and people are in what's called what we call a honeymoon stage where everything is wonderful and exciting. And in that stage, you find so many common things between the two of you. However, there comes a time where the relationship moves into another stage that we call the reality stage, where something happens and all of a sudden, all of those amazing common interests and qualities and traits that you loved and were attracted to about your partner, you tend to kind of forget them or to they get kind of covered over with some other things. Well, and sometimes what happens there too is we get sidetracked. We get so invested in our lives and oftentimes it's our, our work life that becomes a priority or if we have ch children involved at that stage, then we get so involved with the rearing of the children that we really lose sight of the relationship between the couple. Mm. As an example, when we were newly married and we were farming in mm. southern Alberta, and we had all kinds of common things that we loved about each other when we first got together. We loved dancing, we loved uh, eating, we loved um, doing all kinds, swimming and Playing camping. Playing cards and, and yeah. all of those Family kind. activities. Yeah. yeah, loved kids, being around kids. Community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once we got married, we had that little piece of paper. We were together, living together. <laughs> all of a sudden, that was sort of a done deal. Well, I was farming and I prioritized the farm and that work as being far more important than the family activities. Not that the family wasn't important, but I, I, I think I had this twisted idea that if I worked really, really, really hard, someday, someday, mm -hmm. I'd be able to spend all kinds of wonderful time with Carol mm -hmm. and with the family. And I often wondered when that someday was going to be and we got to a point where you know, I wasn't even sure that I was going to stick around for some day until we had the conversation that, that we were ready to make some changes in our relationship. Yeah. You wanted to go dancing and go camping and, and do those things, but I, I thought work was far more important. Right. So the question, you know, can a relationship be healthy if the partners have completely different interests and activities? Our belief is no. Our belief is there has to be something. There has to be some commonality. There has to be a reason for relationship the two of you working together on something, sharing cooking, sharing playing cards, whatever it is, those things you will need to decide what you have in common. And I think one of the keys for us is about focusing on those things. And does that mean that we have to do everything together? Absolutely not. We really feel there's value in both of us having our separate interests and activities because if we were totally identical, then, you know, one of us would be redundant and that certainly isn't going to be the case. So part of it is about prioritization, yeah. you know, looking for those common things, remembering the common things that brought you together in the first place and prioritizing some of those things to do them every now and then so that both people's needs and wants and desires are fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And, and the big key to that is communication. Right. It always comes back to communication, to be willing to talk about these things honestly, openly, and to come to some agreements that work for both. Absolutely. So we invite you to have a conversation with your partner to talk about what types of activities and interests that the two of you share, as well as those that you have that are very different and, and are not in common with one another. And then we invite you to look for ways that you can really celebrate the things that you you enjoy doing and find times and places to do those things. Please send us uh, your comments, a note, questions. We'd love to talk about them, answer mm -hmm. them next time. Have a great day. Until then, take care.